There's nothing is north, there's nothing is south. Cinema has no language. The film that I'm doing now, it is thanks to my children and my brother Sanjay who forced me to do it. Okay, why don't you face the camera and see what it, what the world is on the other side? Whenever I've started a film, they have been close to my heart. Some have been successful, some have not. Hello everyone, this is Sandhya Arimuthu from the Quint. And before I introduce the guest of the day, let me give you some context. There are some heroes and heroines who have huge fan following. But it's very, very rare for the producer to have a similar fan base, especially for the kind of personality that he has and also the kind of films that he makes. So here with me is Mr. Mori Kapoor. How are you, sir? I'm good. Welcome. Good evening. <laughs> well, and and namaste, to namaste, you. namaste, namaste. To you and to all who are watching this. Uh, first up, I want to ask you about this, sir. Like your script selection process, right? Uh, what it takes to impress Mr. Dhoni Kapoor, the producer of Dhoni Kapoor? A, it's got to be wholesome, it's got to cater, it's got to have the element to connect with the audience and it needs to be diverse. I don't want to stick to one kind of cinema. I, I believe in strong content, I believe in commercial elements too, I believe in family emotions too, I believe in romantic subjects too. So if you see of the 50 odd films that I've done so far, they're all, it's a good mix of all the, all kinds of cinema. I've done a special effects, you know, a superhero film, which was Mr. Indy. I've done a gangster film, which was Company. I've done a socially relevant film, which was Nirkonda Parvai. I'm, uh, this uh, Ninji Giridi is another socially relevant film, a strong, powerful subject. Then I have Vitla Vishesham coming, which is yeah, again a fun film. Know. Yeah, I'd say it's a fun film, comedy film with family elements. And of course, AK-61, which is going to be one of its kind with Ajit. Manju Warrior and Vinod is directing that film. As a producer, what is, uh, how much do you, uh, you know, get involved in the creative process of the filmmaking? Like, uh, you know, giving your inputs and your suggestions to the filmmaker See, to yeah. the story. You know, or... filmmaking is a teamwork. Absolutely. Of course, I first need to get excited about the subject. Then my hero has to be equally excited. Exactly. The main, main actor, the main protagonist. And of course, you see, then it is a direct up to the director to web to work on the screenplay to make it wholesome, to make it, uh, you know, to have all the elements of uh, elements to satisfy the palate of the Indian audience. It could be, you know, for instance, when I'm doing a Tamil film, it's got to first satisfy the palate of Tamil audience, then the pan India audience. Absolutely. So these are a few things which I keep in mind, and at the same time, I like to make films only which can be seen with the full family together. Absolutely. I wouldn't, I mean, I, I, I can't get into a film which is just for the sake of commerce to have sleaze in it, to have uh, things which just blatantly cater to commercialism, although I believe in commerce, but sometimes, you know, there are crudities involved in the name of commercialization. So I try to be aware as much as I can and as I told you, the main thing being, uh, the film has got to be seen with the full family together. And if it's a strong subject which has content for the adults, but still it conveys some kind of a morale, some kind of a, you know, it need not be preachy, but it should be an eye-opener to the society. And I think uh, talking about your productions in South specifically, uh, I think we can see a pattern here. Like you are uh, producing a lot of successful films that did well in Hindi. And uh, for instance, Pink or Article 15 or Badai, all of, the, all of those films. Valimai, think, Valimai wasn't made in Hindi. Yeah, it was, a <laughs> yeah, it was made uh, in Tamil, yeah. but then it was uh, made to reach pan Indian audience. But we are seeing most of the films are uh, following this pattern of, uh, you know, the successful see, films are coming here. The subjects which attracted me, the subjects which had some kind of a message, and at the same time, fits into the commerce, my my commerce, my my numbers. Yeah. I wouldn't hesitate doing that kind of film because I feel I have a duty towards society. Besides being a filmmaker, I've got a duty towards society. And if in my films, packaging it in a entertainment format or in a format which is acceptable, which is connected to the audience, why not? I mean, I. See, I remember Raj Kapoor doing several such films, Good Polish, Avara, Charsubis, 
You know, they had a message, but they were packaged well with some commercial elements. So that's something which I am trying to. I mean, I've imbibed in my mind watching those films. That this is what good cinema is all about, and I'm, I'm doing my best to see that I follow that pattern. Yeah, and I think your strategy is to like make the uh, regional audience also get access to uh, you know some of the brilliant stories that did well in Hindi. Not necessarily, even the. And even I, I have, I, yeah, basically, I've done more South films into Hindi in than Hindi. Hindi into South. So, Absolutely. I mean, my career started with the remake of a South film. Anil's career started as a hero for a, uh, of, from a remake to, uh, of a Tamil film to Hindi. So. I am equally comfortable either way, and I owe my, I owe a lot to the South, because in South was uh, the beginning of my journey, foundations of my, you know, my career. My, my first film, independent film, was a remake of a South film. So I am indebted to South, like I am indebted to Mumbai for giving me that opportunity to be fit enough, good enough, or. Have that kind of capacity to do uh, films in South too. So I'm blessed that I have support of the Bombay f- film industry, the North Indian audience, South Indian film industry, and the South Indian audience. And I hope this journey is fruitful f- for all. You have done pan Indian films. You've done small budget to big budget regional films. So what is your personal favorite? If you were to pick one, at any given point, whenever I've started a film, they have been close to my heart. Some have been successful, some have not. So I cannot just blame the non-success as not being favorable. Even they were favorable at one time, which is why I decided to do the film. In fact, there are films which I've acquired. For instance, a film like called Matrubumi, we had acquired because I believed in that subject, and that was rated amongst the best films by Time Magazine. True. And uh, it won several awards across the world in several festivals. So, which is, which is your favorite kind of film? See, for instance, the first film I distributed. I have been a, besides being a producer, I have been a distributor too. The first film I distributed was Spash. So, it was not a formula-oriented commercial picture. It was a film with a strong content, with fantastic performances, and something which reflected life of people who are uh, in that situation. Yeah. And talking about acquiring rights, no, sir, because you are someone who's been doing it uh, even before, back in the day, and even now. So what? I started my mean? started my career by acquiring rights. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So, uh, do you see any difference? Was it easy back then, and uh, or is it easier now? Well, it was easy back then because there, there were not many who were acquiring <laughs> the rights from South to be done in Hindi. Now the competition is. Now easy. the competition is there, and the prices have gone up. They've become a lot more expensive, and similarly. I'm sure there will be many such many more producers who will come into South from Bombay to do South Indian film because you know everybody is looking for greener pastures and uh, maybe there would be like for instance there were a lot of South producers who remade their films in North that is how they made uh, a name down you know uh, Alvi Prasad got the Dada Sahab Phalke award Nagi Reddy got the Dada Sahab Phalke there were so many I mean these stalwarts have created gems across all languages. Absolutely. And uh, quite a few of them made the films in Hindi, you know, from Malayalam to Tamil, Tamil to Telugu, Telugu to Hindi, uh, Nagiredi Garu, AVM Studios, Gemini Studios, Chandra Lekha was one pan India film, the first pan India film, I would say. Yeah. And there, there was Raman Aidu who made several uh, films in Hindi which were remakes of South films, LB Prasad Vasuman, and you know, I mean, Nagiredi, Ramur Sham, you know, all these. Filmmakers have been the pioneers of uh, remaking film. In fact, Nagi Reddy Garu had made Ramu Sham in Hindi, which was a remake of Raman Edu, Ramuru Bimuru. And then Nagi Reddy went and bought Sita Gita rights to be made in South languages. In fact, when the writers and the directors said that this, we were inspired by Ramu Sham, and that is how it, we changed to from male to female. So he said that idea itself is good, is a brilliant idea. So I am buying the rights for the brilliant idea that you had. To change from male to female and make an, an another entertaining film. And about the recent North South divide, no sir. Like, hey, first of all, I'm not fully aware of what is this North South divide. According to me, you know, cinema has no language. Absolutely. So I'm the wrong person to comment on it. And at the same time, I don't believe in it too. There's nothing as North. There's nothing as South. Cinema has no language. You know, the earlier days, cinema didn't have di- it, it didn't have sound. 
and yet films were appreciated. Who can forget the early Charlie Chaplin films, the Laurel Hardy films, the Buster Keaton films, and some of the Hindi films which were of the silent era. They were successful then in 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 that period for that period. So cinema has no language. So there's nothing as south and north. It's basically good cinema is to be. I. Me and Anil, when we were growing up, we used to go for festivals when it used to happen in Delhi and watch films from different countries. Without knowing the language, we could enjoy the films. So these are things which, which I keep away from the any kind of controversy or any kind of. A, I don't belong to either sides. I am a person who belongs to the country, and I feel cinema is meant for all. Cinema is meant to entertain people. Cinema is meant to unify people. and the good part today is that the industries of south and north are unifying absolutely there are technicians from south who have impressed a lot of bombay film makers there are technicians from writers from bengal writers from so there is a good mix which is happening so this particular controversy makes no sense to me and uh, i'm away from it i'm not even perhaps aware of the full thing yeah And especially because of films like KGF and Bahubali are resonating with the national. Why audience. KGF and Bahubali? See, why, why even Ham Aapke Kaun was dubbed in South language. They, it had done phenomenally well. Yeah. Dangal did very well in Tamil. Absolutely. So yeah. I mean this, and then before Bahubali, uh, Raj Mauli's Ega had done very well across yeah. the country. Bhagdira was appreciated a lot. So you cannot identify one film. This thing earlier, you see, when Shoni released in seventy five. There were two other big hit films. One was Jai Santoshi Ma, and the other was Sampurna Ramayan, made in South, dubbed in Hindi. It was a resounding success all over the country. It was a dubbed film, and a lot of mythological dubbed films used to do very well in Hindi. So this thing was always there, and that is the reason most of the channels, whether it is Sony, Star, Z, they have. You know they have a separate slot for South film which are dubbed in Hindi. Yeah. So that's how the South stars are known there in, uh, across India. So it is just a matter of uh, awakening for all to know that cinema doesn't have one region or one language. Absolutely. It is for the whole world, the whole universe to enjoy and see. And now moving on to Kushi's uh, debut, sir. So your daughter Kushi Kapoor is uh, venturing in with Zoya Akhtar's Archie, right? That's so right. how excited are you? And uh, what is? Did you give any, uh, you know, insider advice to her? I am very, very excited, very, very happy for her. And uh, she doesn't need any inputs from me. She's a sensible girl herself. And uh, there are. You know, in today's time, the kids are far more knowledgeable than what the adults are, <laughs> because they they have grown up in an age where the world has shrunk thanks to internet. True. So they don't need to be told; they need to be guided. That's it. And whenever the need arises, I'm there to guide her and anybody junior. True. So the way I I will I would guide Arjun, the way I would guide Jambi, I would guide the way I would guide Anshula in whichever field. Uh, she is in, and the same way I would guide Khushi too. Absolutely, and I specifically wanted to ask about your kids at home. So, because uh, you made your de uh, acting debut recently, so uh, with AK, I mean, you made a cameo role, and of course, you are making your acting debut very soon. Yeah. So, uh, tell us about: is there a healthy competition brewing in the house on who's going to be the best actor? No, there's no there's no competition as such. Okay. Each each has his own slot, and we do enjoy conversations. In fact. The film that I'm doing now it is thanks to my children and my brother Sanjay who forced me to do it. Okay, why don't you face the camera and see what it, what the world is on the other side? You've always seen the world from one side. Yeah. See it from the other side. So I've shot for this particular film for almost forty days so far, and there's another eight ten days work, which I will be shooting now from the nineteenth onwards. So I've enjoyed that, and let's see. So why was there a delay, sir? Like, uh, did you at some point think, okay, maybe I should come on screen as well? I that thought never crossed my mind because, um, you know, me and Anil, there's a difference of just thirteen months, and uh, when my father was unwell, this is in seventy six, seventy seven, he had a heart issue, and that's the time we decided that somebody will have to pick up the mantle of production to run the office, to run the household. And that this would be my vocation, making films, production, running the production house. And Anil was more inclined towards acting. Okay. As an actor, he had won the Dilip Kumar Trophy in college. He was always 
ready to perform in school in several plays that they had. He has done a role of Shashi Kapoor's uh, childhood portion in one of the films. Uh, and after he shot for the movie, he didn't remove the makeup for two or three days. <laughs> so he was more inclined and he was more, his passion was more driven towards acting. So he, he I, I mean, we decided that he'll go ahead with his preference and I will go ahead with taking care of the taking care of the, uh, take, I mean, to the best of my ability. Absolutely. And uh, I think we're coming to the end of the interview. So I want to ask you this one question. Uh, I think Ajit fans will not forgive me if I don't ask. Oh. So any exciting, you know, exclusive AK-61 update for us, sir? AK-61 is progressing very well. We are shooting in Hyderabad. We put up a set for the Mount Road. Soon we'll be shifting shooting to uh, shooting in Tamil Nadu too. And uh, it has Manju Warrior as uh, opposite Ajit in the film. This would be the first thing they would be doing together. Vinod, of course, is working for me for the third time. Nirav Shah is working for me for the third time. Ajit is working for me for the third time. And it is thanks to Ajit that I have got into serious filmmaking in Saudi. He has been very supportive and I will remain indebted to him. Thank you so much for this time, for being so patient and answering all the questions, sir. And wishing you all the very best for all of your productions, uh, right from Nenjikanidhi, which is all set to release in a few days, and Badai Ho, which is again uh, a great Lavisheshim. So, wishing you all the very best for all your southern and northern productions. Thank, thank you so you. much. For thank, the you. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.